NBC and the PGA Tour are proud to present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. 2K Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, is proud to bring you the first stop of the FedEx Cup playoffs. Today's coverage of the Northern Trust is about to begin. I'm Luke Olvey alongside Rich Beam, and we're at TPC Boston. Take us through this opening hole. Par 4, 365 from the backs. This is as simple as it gets. Players generally going with a long iron hybrid at the most. They're going to have a wedge for the second. The only place they can stick the flag on this hole on the left-hand side or all the way in the back that will present any kind of challenges. An opening three here is almost required. Let's get down to the action. It looked like it came out of a cannon. Second shot here on the first. What a shot! Almost went in the bucket. That a boy. Good shot. Always nice when you can just go ahead and tap one in for birdie. They've made it. Off to a great start today. Absolutely love to see those going in early. It sets the tone for the rest of the day. Currently one under for the round. Can't birdie them all unless you birdie the first, Luke. Good start. And coming off the birdie, they'll be proud of themselves. A chance to keep it rolling. Par 5 measures 542 yards from the back tee. Players looking to make a four here, but never disappointed with a par 5. Oh, seems to have got a big piece of that one. Striped. TPC Boston recently refurbished by Gil Hans Rich in this second hole. It's a beauty, particularly with the approach. You might think about going forward in two, laying up down the left-hand side. Leaves you a pretty simple pitch shot across a marsh, though, that's waiting to gobble up your golf ball if you get careless. Going with a three-wood here. Four left. Getting ready to play their third. Yeah. Lining up the birdie putt here. Hey, nice looking line. They hold it. That very gutsy. And that'll put a little pep in your step up and down from the bunker in for the birdie. Good job. Let's go to our man John on the ground. There's something brewing down there. Let's find out what it is. Well, I am on the third hole, and Justin Thomas is just getting ready to hit. Never seen a school car that doesn't look good with a two on it. looking really good that one had eyes for it the whole way and after this hole that's how it looks we find ourselves on a par three here par three measures 208 yards just one bunker surrounds the screen That was never really a comfortable shot for them, was it? Missing it short there, they will definitely be upset. Okay, phase one complete. Uh, You've got to make a good putt here. Let's see if you can make this. Keep the par on the card. Well done. He's currently tied for first. 
the fourth of TPC Boston Rich. A great short par four. Par four measures 298 yards from the back tee. Players looking to make birdie or better. The only difficulty is finding that front bunker. That's when big numbers can be had. For sure, birdies galore. Players setting up, trying to get up and down from the bunker. I'd be glad to be putting now. This putt is about 10 feet from the hole. This is a good chance. Always nice to hold those for a birdie. Got to say, putting this well from this distance is a huge confidence booster. John, what's going on? Talk to us, Goose. This is Gary Woodland, guys, and we are down here on the sixth hole. Even for the day. Oh, almost went in. That takes great skill. Lovely shot out of the sand. And after that effort, let's take a look at how it stands. Teeing off here at the fifth. Par four, 466 yards, dog legs from right to left. The big danger here is the green. Three different tiers on this green. Find the correct one, you'll have a birdie opportunity. Miss it, and it's gonna be a difficult two putt. That's yeah, heading for the fairway. This shot coming from around the 150 yard marker. Well, good looking shot here. That's headed towards the green. Yep, that shot's safely on the green. This one here, this is for back to back birdies, moving him in the right direction. Well, good chance to take it even deeper here. This putt's for four under. It's got a chance. And that's their fourth booty of the day. And that will take him to four under. And after that hole, he's now alone at the top of the leaderboard. The lead is getting bigger and bigger. And after a booty at the last, they take the honor on the hole. Par four, 465 yards from the back tee. Bunkers down the right-hand side are a nuisance. The pond fronting the left part of the green should not come into play if players find the fairway off their tee shots. Second shot to a very flat green. You can get it close, but still difficult on this long par four. And now intrepid on course reporter, John standing by. I'm over here on the seventh hole, guys. This is Patrick Cantlay's next shot. This would be a great up and down. Oh, well, that's incredible. And for birdie, too. Oh, this one out of a smelly spot on the golf course, but no bother for this player. The sixth hole, particularly the approach, Rich, at TPC Boston's a very strong one. If they put the pin other than front left near the water, it's a good birdie opportunity. But once that pin sneaks over to the left-hand side, watch out. Bogies and doubles come into the equation very quickly. Yeah, not a bad shot, that one. Slim chance here for birdie, but you never know. And with that, you can go and put a par on the card. 
So after that hole, this is what the leaderboard looks like. Currently four under for the event. This hole is a long par five. Par five that measures 600 yards from the back tee and only the long players can reach in two. Find the fairway, then make a decision. Do I go over the large bunker 100 yards away or do I lay back of it? Either way, you must make a par five here because birdies will be had by the big hitters. Oh, absolutely flushed. And this effort by Gary Woodland was just a little while ago. Third shot now. Beamer, that was right out of your playbook. A touch of wizardry. Well, very excited to get some playoff action here as it begins right now. And Rich, why don't you feel the people in at home just exactly what this FedEx Cup means to the players on the PGA Tour? It means that their body of work that they've done all year long is going to finally be rewarded. Now, the players that are on top of the list, they have a golden opportunity to win $15 million. And those players that still have work to do, there's an opportunity for them to make the final push to get in the top 30, but there's plenty of work to be done. So this really is a culmination of the entire year, and players look forward to that. They want to win the FedEx Cup playoffs. They want to be the champion. However, it's not an easy task, especially at this time of the year with so much riding on the line. And here we are with the third shot. Oh, that one just missed the hole. And you look at birdie here. Mark it down, that's birdie number five. And that will take him to five under. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. Let's see what happens here at the eighth. Par three measures 213 yards, bunkers left and right. Not an easy par three to say the least. Going with the five wood. Anywhere up on that dance floor would be nice. This would be a great up and down from this spot. Well, that's an impressive little chip. Judging it beautifully. Well, that hole's behind us. More to play. And after that hole, leading Justin Thomas by a stroke. Here we are at the final hole on the front nine. Ninth hole, par four, 472 yards from the back tee. Bunkers down the left will not come into play. And this green sits below the players on their second shot. We have seen birdies made here in the past, but they are really difficult to come by. This looks to be a fairway seeker to me. This one might need to get down a little. Yeah, nicely played. This part is about 16 feet. This one's online. Oh, so close. And they'll walk away with a par on this one. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. And let's take a look at this shot from just a moment ago. This is a superb shot from Patrick Cantlay. I got to say, his short game is one of the best in the game. Yes!
And after that hole, this is how the leaderboard looks right now. Tied at the top, Rich, with the back nine here left today. Every player wants to be in this position. I can promise you that. Let's see how they perform over this final nine and if they can get the job done. Yeah, you hit a beauty, didn't you? Second shot here on the 10th hole. Great looking shot, this. A wonderful shot and a chance for birdie here on the 10th. Almost a gimme birdie there, Luke. Fantastic. And that part will give them birdie number six on the day. And that will take him to six under. He's currently in the second position. And moving down the leaderboard as well. Let's see what happens here at the 11th hole. Part of three measures 231 yards from the back. A very difficult test indeed. A long green that is unforgiving as it slopes from back to front quite severely. Birdies are hard to run by, as pars can be as well. Opting for the three wood. Fingers crossed for a good kick to the left. And not a bad approach. It'll be putting. Birdie at the last. This for another. This one's looking good. And down it goes. So that's back-to-back -back birdies. Kind of like it. Two in a row. It's time for a highlight. Let's head to the 12th for this wonderful play. And how about this shot from Patrick Cantlay? Well, I'm always happy to recap shots like this. Let's take another look. Oh, that's a sensational moment. Mark that down as a highlight today. So with another hole behind us, let's take a look at the leaderboard. Always positive coming off a birdie. Let's see what happens here. Par four, 510 yards. Good luck. You'll need it. Good shot there. Second shot here on the 12th. <laughs> yeah, that'll work. That's fine. John, have you got a read on this one? He's got about 27 feet from here, fellas. Nice soft hands around the green. What a skill to have. Just eyeballing that one, trying to make it. John, do you have any info down there? Down on the 14th hole, and this is a look at Gary Woodland. Even for the day. What a shot! Almost went in the bucket. And with that hole behind us, let's have a look at the contenders and the pretenders. Welcome to this hole. That's a par four. Par four, back up the hill, 447 yards. This is an adventure-filled par four.
This one's looking good off the tee. That should find the short stuff. Second shot here on the 13th. Going with the pitching wedge here. Exit. Stays left even. Well, that'll work up on the dance floor. Could have been worse. Trying to get to eight under par with this putt. Their short game has been very impressive. They've kept this player inside the top ten all day long because of it. Tracking. Yeah, nice mid-range birdie putt, that one. And that will take him to eight under. And this is quality play, still on top of the leaderboard. We have a par four on this one. Par four from the tips, 495 yards. Fairway sweeps from right to left down the hill. Should you find the fairway, you'll have a decent look at finding the green in two. But I've got to say, it is a difficult par four, and you'd be happy to walk away with that score. John, give us an update. What's shaking? Well, I'm over on the 15th hole now, guys. This is Cantlay's next shot. And from the bunker here. The 14th hole at TPC Boston is a par five for the locals. A converted par four for the tournament, Rich. And it's a strong second shot down the hill. Second shot, very narrow opening to this green. If you miss it out to the right in the bunkers, you have a difficult time getting it up and down. Out to the left, you have some options. Parts can be made. Well, this one looks like it's heading to the sand. That's a shame. Had a chance to hit the green, but couldn't quite get there. Lots of greens in regulation today for this player, Luke. This is a surprise missing this one. Good putt, that. Now, two shots up after that one. You've arrived at a par four. Step up to the tee and own it. Par four. 421 yards, a seemingly simple par four. Now this one looks to be heading down the runway. Luke, unfortunately, that got a horrible kick. Ended up in the rough. Nice shot, that. That should find the surface. Well, that certainly makes putting a lot easier when you can hit a shot like that. And just about eight feet left to the hole. Looking good. A oh, well hold. Now an impressive nine under par with just a few holes remaining. And a nice feeling it must be to have that sizable of a lead coming down the stretch. So no change on the leaderboard for this player after that hole. Three holes remaining, Luke. This is getting awfully fun. Par threes are always fun. See if he can knock it close. Par three, 161 yards. I don't need to mention the one on the left-hand side. It speaks for itself. <laughs> Opting for the six iron. Well, that's right out of the top drawer. A great shot from our leader. Well, this is one of those lengthy putts. John, how do you see it? Well, he's got about 22 feet to the cup from here. Oh, oh that's incredible. He's sold it. Ah, uh, nicely done. Great chip. Our leader is out in front by a whopping five strokes. Two holes to go, Luke. Can they hang on? Let's find out. Let's see what happens here at the 17th. 
17, par four, 412 yards. Dog leg from right to left. Second shot is down the slope. Lots of bunkers on this hole, but should you avoid them and find the sliver of a green, then birdie will be on your mind. Not a bad line, this one. Oh, what a shot by our leader. That drive was simply astonishing. This one looks just a fraction too long to me. Well, we can see why he's leading. That was a shot of high caliber. Oh, this will be good for the momentum. Let's make this birdie putt. If it's up, it could be in. Well done. Take the birdie. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. Of all the finishing holes on the PGA Tour, Rich, there's plenty that feel the TPC Bolster could be right up with the very best of them. Par 5, 530 yards. Long hitters are looking to take it down the left-hand side and get the extra chase on the golf ball down the slope. That'll leave them with a very short second shot to a dangerous green, big deep bunker right, and a large hollow on the left-hand side. Birdies and eagles have been made before, but so have sixes and sevens. Yeah, this is a quality looking shot, this one. That should find the short stuff. Coming off a string of three birdies. Seems to have chosen the three wood. Well, this person displays the power game in pure fashion there. Using all of his muscles to get that one home in two. Well, all that hard work, it's time to pay it off. Make this for the tournament. by the hole. Well, for a long time it was known as golf's magical number. Make this putt, you'll shoot a 59. Well, that's the way to start the FedEx Cup playoffs with a victory in the opening playoff event, the Northern Trust. What a performance. Yes, good victory here at TPC Boston. Great week all around. Plenty of players in contention. However, you can only have one winner, and this player rose and shone above the rest. Well, on behalf of myself, Rich Beam, and all the hardworking folks at HB Studios, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.